So welcome, I'm Michiel from Bitnami and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to run Kubernetes locally using Minikube. Kubernetes is a rapidly growing platform for managing container workloads, enabling you to configure, roll out and scale deployments. And Minikube is a program that allows you to run Kubernetes clusters locally on a virtual machine, which makes it a great way to get started with Kubernetes. So in short, the steps we will follow are these. We're going to install Minikube, then we're going to install kubectl, which is the Kubernetes command line client. Then we're going to install Helm, which is a Kubernetes package manager. And then we are going to deploy a Bitnami WordPress Helm chart on the Minikube Kubernetes cluster. In this tutorial, we need to execute a few long commands and to save some time, I'm going to copy and paste some of them from the Bitnami tutorial for installing Minikube. So you can find the commands in this guide, which is docs.bitnami.com slash kubernetes slash get hyphen get, sorry, get hyphen started hyphen kubernetes. So the first command we are going to copy is in step one. So this is the curl command. And we're going to paste it here in the terminal. Now this command is going to download the latest Minikube version then give it execute permissions and then it's going to move it to the user local bin folder. And we need to replace this placeholder with, well, if you're using Linux, then you need to replace it with Linux. If you're using OS X, then you need to replace it with Darwin. And I'm using OS X, so I'm going to replace it with Darwin. So let's, let's execute this command. So now to move it to the user local bin folder, I need to um, add my, I need to type in my password. So now we need to source the bash RC file to load Minikube in our path. So now we should be able to run, for example, this command, minikube version. So that's working correctly. Um, before we start, it's important to know that as minikube runs on a virtual machine, you need to have a hypervisor software installed like VirtualBox or VMware Fusion to be able to run the virtual machine. So let's start minikube. So this command will download and start the Minikube virtual machine and it will take a few minutes to complete. So now Minikube is running, but we still need to install the kubectl command line client to be able to run Kubernetes commands from the terminal. So I'm going to copy and paste another long command from the guide. That's uh, step three, install the kubectl command line tool. I'm just going to copy the first line and paste it in the terminal and change the placeholder with Darwin and Linux if you're using Linux. This is simply going to download the kubectl binary. We need to give it execute permissions and move it to the user local bin folder. 
Oh, sorry. And we need to load it in our path. So now we should be able to see the cluster info of our running Kubernetes cluster on Minikube. Okay, so that is working. So now we have installed Minikube and kubectl, but we still need a quick way to install and manage applications from our cluster. So for that we can use Helm. Helm is an application package manager for Kubernetes. And the packaging format for Helm is called a chart. So a chart is a single collection of files that describes a related set of Kubernetes resources. To install Helm, I'm going to copy and paste another long command from the guide. That is in step four. Install and configure Helm. And I'm going to paste it in the terminal. So this is going to download a script, which will then download Helm 3, the latest major release of Helm. So let's download it and then give the script execute permissions and then execute the script which will download and install Helm 3. So to move Helm to the user local bin folder, we need to fill in the pseudo password. So now Helm is installed. And now to test this, let's install WordPress using Helm. So first, let's add the Bitnami chart repository. Bitnami offers a broad range of charts which are secure, optimally configured, and always up to date. So you can add the repo in the following way. So now we can install the Bitnami WordPress charts. And as the application should be available externally, I'm going to set the service type to Noteboard. So this outputs some commands which you need to copy and execute. And this will show the application IP address. And also the username, well, the password. So here we have the password. The username is user. And this is the IP address. So let's check that. And let's check that we can log in. So WordPress is running, we can log in, and everything seems to be working just fine. So that's everything for now. Thank you for watching this tutorial, and see you next time.